Brent's Burgers. Okay, uh, we are in Sudbury, or I am in Sudbury. It is uh, what has been in my mind as the last day of the tour for quite a while. It's been a long time on the road. I wanted to get in a Sudbury burger review. I don't know how long I can keep doing this, folks, because it's starting to mess with me. And what I mean by that is I knew I was going to have to do a burger review today. And obviously, I have a blemish at the moment. And I legitimately considered covering it with uh, concealer, which I know how to do because I used to do a lot of acting and know how to do that. So anyways, at that point, I thought maybe this is getting carried away if I'm starting to have to wear concealer to do burger reviews. Needless to say, I didn't do it because I'm lazy. Uh, and I have gone to a place in Sudbury called Deluxe Burgers. Now, I struggled trying to decide where to go. Yesterday, I went to a place in uh, Sault Ste. Marie, which was very good. They messed up the um, garlic aioli and put mayonnaise on, which was unfortunate, and they still scored over an eight. I was trying to decide what to choose in Sudbury because there were a bunch of places that looked quite good. Here are some of the comments that ended up selling me on why I should go to Deluxe Burgers. First, local guide Christy. She gave it two stars. But her comment was, Deluxe is definitely degraded over the many, many years. I came home to visit Sudbury and a lot has changed. From the gravy changing flavor, chicken seems to get overcooked. Right off the bat, I know I cannot take anything that you say seriously. You went to a burger place and you ordered chicken. It's your fault. Okay, moving on. Here's another comment, uh, another review. Raymond Moffat gave it five stars. It is just a hamburger fast food place, but so much better than the big chains. It competes in that market, does it very well, and doesn't try to do anything else. If you're in Sudbury, feel free to give it a shot. Uh, Derek Edwards says it's a Sud Sudbury staple. Uh, Paul Kenyon said, I liked it so much that I visited three times during a recent week in Sudbury. Uh, another person referenced that they were part of Burger Wars. I love that Sudbury has a place called Burger Wars. So far, I'm not particularly enthralled with the city, but with that information, I may move here. And then uh, also, this was the one that ended up selling me. This is from Jason Duran, uh, and it was reviewed three months ago. He gave it one star. This was his comment. I was expecting a traditional, old-style, fresh-pressed hamburger with any of the topping of my choice, seeing as, is, as it is called deluxe hamburger. I guarantee you this guy eats deluxe pizzas, which is disgusting. I asked for the works, and specifically pickles. They said they did not serve pickles. I'm already sold. That's me speaking. I asked what I could get on my hamburger, and he said, ketchup, mustard, and onions. Now, onions, again, don't really need to be there. I would remove them. But the fact that they're basically limiting it to ketchup and mustard is just such a beautiful, wholesome thing. That's all you need on a burger. Uh, I was shocked, but nonetheless excited to try it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, he wasn't happy that he didn't get the pickles. I love the fact that they don't really offer a whole lot. And so I decided I would go there. All right, Deluxe Burgers. There's our little intro. Nice uh, sort of non-assuming paper bag. And we've got two burgers in here. Value, three bucks, okay? I'm not expecting them to be great. I'm expecting like maybe like a low six. Uh, so probably like slightly better than McDonald's, but we'll see. It is quite greasy in the uh, in the package. However, it's not like leaking all over the place. So that's sort of nice. Okay, let's look at the assembly here. Okay, it's like small enough. Like, here's the issue with this, this type of burger. It is basically like, it almost looks like the equivalent of like an M&M's Tasty Burger or a Cafeteria Burger. Okay, it's very thin. I knew that going in. I looked at the photos. Okay, but when you're that thin... The bun is obviously going to be... The ratios are all thrown off, okay? There are sesame seeds on the bun. It's concerning, okay? I'll give it a go. We'll see if we can get into that low six. If they... In my mind, if they achieve mid six or above, they are exceeding expectations. Oh, condiment check. Condiments on the top. Sorry. This thing's in the way. Again, this is because they know what they're doing. Let's give it a go. Hmm. One more bite here, folks. The 
it's what I expected. Um, it is comparable to a cafeteria burger from high school. It's better than those. It does taste fresher. Taste-wise, it's comparable. Um, to make this, to get this into the into like the the mid sixes or whatever, you would need a fair bit of ketchup or barbecue sauce added, which I could have added barbecue sauce. It is around where I thought. It's not as bland as I think way back in Manitoba. That was quite bland. It is a bit bland. I'm giving it like I th I think it's hanging out around a five nine. Not spectacular. It's not terrible. It's still better than pretty much any other food I could have ordered aside from pizza. So there you go. I might do another one. If I'm feeling like really sort of like like I want to splurge tonight, then maybe I'll go get like a, a somewhat more gourmet-esque one. But that might be it for now. So deluxe burgers, good value, decent value, I should say. And um, there's our, our Sudbury staple. Thanks for tuning in.